to my drafting floor. Uh, I'm going to start for my pinafore dress. I'm going to start uh, with a skirt. I really, uh, you know, a lot of it is still in my head. Uh, for the skirt, so I, I did do a mock-up on my Barbie doll. And so I have a pretty good idea of what to do. Uh, now, the, the fabric is really... Uh, there's a question of scale here. I'm not expecting... I don't want my skirt to be this poofy, nor do I expect it to be. But the shape is there, uh, the construction is there. And uh, I did try my idea of making an A-line and then um, gathering it. An A-line with a waist bigger than what I need uh, and then gathering it. Um, or more specifically, uh, I do an A-line and then I cut off the waistband and, and I, I gather it and pull it up. And so that's kind of what, what, what it gives. I think it'll work, so, so I am going with, with that plan. Um, <clears throat> so for me, I, I do have um, blocks. I, I made those some time ago. This is uh, some of the best things I, I, I found on YouTube, the best tips. Uh, having having uh, blocks, sewing, sewing blocks uh, made to, to my size, um, it's a whole topic on its own. It, it's not easy to come by, it's not easy to make, but once you have it, it's, it's really precious. I've started using them for doing my alterations. Life-changing, uh, really, really great. So I'm going to, uh, partly because I want to learn, uh, I, I've never uh, drafted, uh, I've never made an A-line skirt from scratch, um, so not the right way anyway. So there's a method where you can get the, you can take your block, uh, so this is for, for a pencil skirt, it's really, it's really close to, to the body, it's to make a shell, uh, and the idea is you use it as a basis to, to create different shapes of garment uh, with uh, seam allowances and ease. Um, so there's uh, also lots of tutorials on how to take a block and open it up uh, to make it into an A-line. Uh, so I, I've done that. Um, <laughs> that exists. There we go. Um, this is going to be my intermediate drafting paper, newspapers. I tried this uh, a, a few weeks ago because I, I just came across one of those tutorials. And I, I'm, I'm an active learner, so when I come across uh, a tutorial, I, I usually just try it <laughs> on the spot. I can't really help myself. Uh, so so that's, what, that's, what, that's what it gives uh, on my intermediate drafting paper. I made it out of that. Uh, so the idea is going to be to lay this on my drafting paper and, and it, it gives me uh, an A-line. Uh, if you don't have that, I'll have to move my kitten again. I retrieved my skirt from my kitten. If you don't have that, it might work if you can find an A-line skirt that you own um, and uh, use, use that as a basis. Uh, so the, the idea <laughs> so the, the idea would be to um, take where the skirt hits you at the hips and, uh, and use that part. So this would be gathered and this would be um, the, the A-line. Uh, I don't know yet how much gathering this is going to, to create. I think for me, um, it, it'll work just right. Um, it all depends on your hip to, on your hip to waist ratio. Um, my ratio is fairly close to one. I don't have wide hips and my, my waist is not, is not very narrow. Um, so I think for me it'll just work just right. Uh, for the Barbie doll, it ended up being really wide, and I cheated. I did not use her hip to waist ratio because it's it wouldn't end up being anywhere near a skirt, <laughs> you know, a human being would wear. Um, all right, so uh, let's get started. So I'm going to start by uh, tracing around uh, this uh, the the newspapers, and that will give me the basic. Uh, a-line uh, contour. And I, I am marking uh, the location of the hips.
So where I marked um, the hips, <coughs> I am going to uh, draw a line that's parallel to the curve of the, of the waist. So for that, I need to measure. That line is going to be um, the top. Um, and I do want to have a seam allowance there. Uh, and at the top, we want the standard uh, seam allowance. Uh, so I'm going to use two centimeters. We also need um, seam allowance on the side, uh, but Oh, and also at the center front, because this is going to be a gourd skirt, so it is going to be constructed uh, in, in two pieces. So we're going to sew down this center line. Um, so I also want a, a seam allowance here. And then uh, I want to do the length. And when it comes to the seam allowance at the bottom, I'm going to give it a generous uh, full three centimeters just so I can adjust it by a little bit. Um, now this uh, delightful skirt that Momo likes so much uh, has just the right length so I'm going to use that one uh, as a measure to to uh, set the bottom. <laughs> she doesn't care. <laughs> Momo, hey baby. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> This is going to be the top here, and so I do want to go down to this much, plus three centimeters. Um, side seam allowances. Um, so we're going to be, yeah, we're, we'll have a seam on this side, we'll also have a seam on this side. So let's go ahead and, and add a standard uh, two centimeters on either side. It's a standard uh, A-line uh, pattern uh, with uh, the center fold over here. Uh, I, I, I put the, I, I cut off the top, uh, so this is where the hip would be. So I'm going to use that as my waistline. Um, and then I've added seam, seam allowances, uh, two centimeters on top, two centimeters on either side and uh, three centimeters at the bottom and I'm, I'm gauging this uh, to be uh, I'm aiming for, for, for knee length um, for a knee, knee length skirt <laughs> 